I am very happy to teach you how to make your own DIY cleaning products at home using vinegar, dish soap, baking soda, hydrogen peroxide, rubbing alcohol, all the things for pennies. But what do I always tell you? I always say that there's a mix. There's DIY products you can make, but then there are specialty products that you need to buy. Sometimes store-bought products really can do the job better. And why waste your time trying to perfect something that's already available in store. So in this video, I'm gonna take you on a tour throughout my house and show you some of the store-bought products that I use room by room. Just a quick note that we are in the middle of renovating our basement right now. So if you hear reno noises, my apologies. If you haven't done so already, make sure that you subscribe to the Clean My Space channel and give this video a thumbs up if you want to see what our basement looks like after the reno. I should also mention that any of the products I'm going to talk about in today's video will be linked for you down below. Where there are tiles, there is grout. Where there is grout, there are stains. And I know that this is something that drives people in the Clean My Space community absolutely crazy. And over the years, we've had many different ways in which you could clean grout that we have shared, but never have we shared something about sealing grout. This is also something I've known about for a long time, but I'm a lazy person. I don't necessarily love the idea of having to seal my grout, but I have the product because if you want to avoid stains in your grout, you can seal them. Sealing kind of creates like a clear gloss over the grout so that it is no longer porous or absorbent. That way, soap scum, dirt, stains, marks can't actually get into the grout. Now, this does take a little bit of preparation and a little bit of time, but if clean grout lines are important to you, you can definitely pick up a product like this, carve out an hour or two, it'll be worth the effort. Here's a mouthful of a product that will solve a very troublesome issue in any home. It's called Concrobium Mold Control. I have talked about this stuff for years. It comes in many different applications from a spray bottle to this canister to a duo pack. I don't know guys, there are all kinds of different application methods. Either way, the reason Concrobium is great is because it works. It gets rid of mold and mildew. So here in the bathroom, you might see some starting to build up over here. That's if you're not ventilating well, if you're not using a squeegee after every shower. You might also see this build, uh, mold and mildew building up on windowsills. You might see it in your kitchen. You might see it outdoors. There are so many different places where you could be using Concrobium around the house. So many people would lean on using bleach to get rid of mold and mildew. And while that's effective, you can use something like this that is odor free, has much less in terms of harsh chemicals in it and gets you great results. Just make sure that you follow package instructions. BKF, its wrap name or barkeeper's friend is a product that we have been talking about for years. Now, if I could get Bon Ami, here in Canada, I would also tell you that Bon Ami is a great product. Either way, these powdered cleansers are gentler than their bleach-based counterparts. You can use them in a lot of different places in your home, uh, and they work really, really well without scratching. Uh, you can use Barkeeper's Friend in the kitchen, you can use it in the bathroom, outdoors. It's got so many different uses, but essentially it'll kind of scrape off anything that's built up, but without scratching the surface. So it's great for porcelain finishes. It's great for, I mean, guys, you know what? I'm not even gonna go into it because I have a whole video on Barkeeper's Friend. I'll link it for you down below, but having a can of it or a bottle, whichever uh, delivery method you prefer is a great thing to have at home. It deals with a lot of trouble. When it comes to disinfecting, you wanna make sure that you're selecting a disinfectant that is safe to use on the surface and in the space that you're looking to disinfect. We don't use disinfectant too much around this house, but certainly in the bathroom and in the kitchen would be two places where we would consider using it. The same goes for point of contact. Uh, Microban 24 is actually a pretty good product to use in the bathroom, but it isn't safe to use on food prep surfaces. We, we did a sponsored program with them a while ago. We have a bunch of their stuff here. It's been working pretty well. So that's what I have in my current rotation for a bathroom disinfectant. 
There are lots of finishes and fixtures around your home that need to be cleaned very specifically so that they don't get ruined. Fiberglass is one of those surfaces. Now, the way you know it's fiberglass, of course, you could remember what you installed at the time, or you can just use your hands to kind of feel and tap. If it feels plasticky and when you tap it, you kind of get like a plasticky reverb, it's fiberglass. If you tap it and it sounds sort of tinny, then it is not fiberglass, you're dealing with something else. So in the case of fiberglass, it is very delicate and it can scratch. It also gets these stains and marks that can be difficult to get out. They're not soap scum. In fact, I don't even know where these came from, but they're difficult. So uh, a great product to have on hand is something like this. It's called Peak and it is safe to use to clean fiberglass. You can actually use this to clean a lot of other surfaces too. The package will explain that, but I specifically picked it up to deal with some of the challenges that I have here in a fiberglass tub. Now, normally when I clean the tub, I'm just using something very gentle, dish soap, vinegar, water, a sponge or a microfiber cloth, and it takes care of this tub, but these stains I can't otherwise get rid of. So. Having a tube of something like this will help keep your fiberglass looking great for a long time. Now you certainly can make your own toilet bowl cleaner, but if you're someone who just wants the quick and easy, you can pick up a bottle of toilet bowl cleaner that's specifically designed to deal with the unique odors, stains, and buildup that happens in a toilet. When I pick up a toilet bowl cleaner, I'm always looking for an eco-friendly brand, something that is gentler, uh, naturally derived, made with uh, you know less harsh product. This one's actually the Walmart brand. I am actually not brand loyal to toilet bowl cleaners, um, but that's the way I shop for them. There's fish and chips vinegar, there's salad dressing vinegar, and then there's cleaning vinegar. Cleaning vinegar is anywhere between six and 10% acidic acid. You will see that listed right there on the label. This one is 10%. And this is so important to have at home because it cuts through grease. We all know how well vinegar can clean, but cleaning vinegar is like vinegar on steroids. It works really well. So if you've got heavy duty soap scum on tiles or glass, uh, if you've got a really heavily stained mirror, anything like that that's kind of driving you nuts that you don't want to have to work too hard on, cleaning vinegar can save the day. Just make sure that you ventilate the area well and protect your hands. It is an acid, so even though regular vinegar is fine to consume, you actually don't want to get this on your body and you don't want to breathe it in. This is a newer product that I have found, but it is one that I am really impressed with. It's Folex and it is not exactly a laundry product, but I thought this was the most appropriate place to talk about it. Uh, it's an instant carpet spot remover. It kind of works like magic. You spray it onto a spot, you either rub it in with your finger or a little cleaning toothbrush, and the spot lightens and disappears before your eyes. Now, as with any type of stain or spot remover for upholstery or carpet, you want to test in a hidden area first just to make sure there aren't any major issues. But in my experience, I haven't had that with Folex. Uh, I think it works really well and it's something that you should just have tucked away in the event there's a stain, you can kind of zap it on and get rid of it. One of the cool things about this product is it's what they call non-magnetic. And what that means is that it doesn't leave any sticky residue behind on your surface. If there's a sticky residue, that actually attracts dirt and darkens the spot that you were trying to clean. So that's kind of a nice thing about this. They also say that it is CFC and petroleum free. It's been around for over 40 years and has like insane reviews online. So yeah, I keep some of this at home. A granite sealer or a natural stone sealer is a really important thing to have in high traffic areas where your natural stone is, whether it's a countertop or a floor, whether it's in your kitchen or your bathroom. These are really great products because what they do is provide an invisible barrier so that your stone surfaces don't become absorbent to stains. And when you stain a natural stone surface, they are really tough to clean. You need to bring on the pros and things get real expensive. So having a stone sealer like this around the house is very useful. It's something that you can do every few months or so. Your product will explain to you exactly how frequently 
to do the treatment and also how to do the treatment. It is way less overwhelming than it sounds, but because we have granite kitchen counters and marble countertops in the bathrooms, this is an important product for us to have here at the house. What I will show you is my uh, guest bathroom where we did not use a sealant and there are now stains. Even the most diligent people can't keep food and hair from going down their sink, whether it's here in the kitchen or in the bathroom. And that's why I think having a drain opener at home is important and one that is safe or safer because we know these are you know tougher chemicals they have a big job to do so the product that I use is called green gobbler and if you look at the little logo there the guy says it all he's very active so what you get in this box is a three pack of powder you basically dump this pack down the drain that is clogged you put a little bit of hot water on top, just enough to make sure all of the product is dissolved. You leave it for about 30 minutes, and then you pour one or two kettles full of boiling water down the drain, and this opens everything up. I have been really impressed with the results of Green Gobbler. I've been using it for years. I actually don't like having the harsher drain openers at home. And one of the big mistakes that people make with drain openers is they don't get the results they want the first time, even with a very, very heavy duty product, probably because they're not reading the label properly. Then they dump more stuff down the drain and that's when gases get created and that's when poison control gets the phone calls. So what I would recommend is pick up a product, read it, understand how it works and go to town. Something that is critical to have at home to deal with greasy, grimy surfaces, odors, and stains is an enzyme cleaner. Now, if you're in the US, Back Out by BioClean is a definite favorite. And if you're in Canada, you can probably get your hands on a container of pink solution. Uh, it has a different package now. It goes to show how long this stuff lasts for. But an enzyme cleaner is useful not only in the kitchen, but in the bathroom or other dirty areas of your home. The way that enzyme cleaners work is they are applied to a surface. They need to be wet to work, but they're essentially like good bacteria. Kind of think of them like probiotics. And what they do is they start to eat away at the greasy, grimy stuff. Whatever is posing a cleaning challenge to you, you give it a little bit of time. Then you come over, you wipe it off. You don't have to do any of the heavy lifting because the enzymes have done that work for you. What I love about enzyme cleaners is they are vegetable based. So they oftentimes don't have strong smells, they work really, really well, and they don't have harsh chemicals. These, uh, I mean, I use these to remove stains, odors, greasy stuff on backsplashes, cleaning overhead exhausts, oven doors. They have so many uses here in the kitchen and then throughout the house. I mean, we have videos on enzyme cleaners. I'll link them for you down below, but I think it is critical to have a good container of enzyme cleaner wherever you live. A dirty dishwasher is a useless dishwasher and that's why maintaining it on a regular basis is important. Not only cleaning out the filter if yours can be manually removed, but also cleaning the inside. And while you can do a vinegar cycle and a baking soda cycle, you can also use a dishwasher tablet. And I do use these from time to time and I find that they actually work pretty well. Um, the reason I like the Afresh one is because it also does bear the EPA Safer Choice label. So I always look for that when I'm looking for cleaning products and it's pretty easy to use. It's also recognized by a lot of the major appliance manufacturers. You basically open up the tablet, throw it in your machine. Your machine should be empty, run it through on a hot cycle, you're done. Now, when it comes to what I use inside the dishwasher, I use Cascade uh, Action Packs. I like them because they have a bit of Dawn, they have a bit of Rinse Aid, they got detergent. What I don't love about this product, I don't love the packaging, and honestly, I would like something that does have an EPA Safer Choice label, but something that is really effective. I like that it is recognized by all of the major appliance brands, but I'd love to know in the comments down below if you have found a dishwasher detergent that works incredibly well without all the harsh stuff. So let me know. Laundry detergent is one of the most used cleaning products in a home, and I am always testing new products that are available. 
What I specifically look for, I look for less ingredients. I look for products that are free of dyes, scents, additives, unnecessary stuff. I mean, laundry, you know, we wear clothes, they're so close to our body, we smell everything. So that's why I always like to find products that are gentler and better for us and the environment. I also like to look for products that have reduced packaging. So I look for EPA Safer Choice labels, Leaping Bunny programs, that kind of thing. And I'm always trying different things out so I have different products in rotation at any given time. Right now I've got Tide Free and Gentle in this box. I've got True Earth and I've got Molly's Suds. My go-to stain remover is Puracy. It's got six different types of enzymes in there to deal with different types of stains. Uh, I love the story behind this brand and I remember trying it on a whim a few years ago and there's almost no stain that I've thrown at this that has not come out. I am so impressed with this product. It's also naturally derived, plant-based, non-toxic. It's free and clear. It's made in the US and I'm just about out of it. So I got to place a reorder, but uh, I've been very impressed with this. What I do find with stain removers, particularly in the natural realm, is you might have to treat a stain a couple of times, but be persistent and you'll see your stain will come right out. It smells amazing. And that's because I know how to take care of it. I always leave the door open between washes. And because this is a through way, it's a constant argument between Chad and I. He like passive aggressively closes it and then I passive aggressively open it. It's like a whole thing in our house. But that's why this machine doesn't smell. Our gasket doesn't have any mold in it. Things are good in the washing machine. The other thing I do fairly regularly is maintain it. And I use an fresh tablet to do that as well. Now you can pick up gels that you can add into the detergent cup, but I find this is pretty easy. First, I wipe out the machine, make sure that there's nothing, you know, sticking around in there, especially now that we have a three-year-old. Oh my gosh, you find some random stuff in that drum. So remove that first, throw in one of these tablets, put your machine onto either the tub clean cycle or the hottest possible setting and your washing machine will smell better and it will actually perform better. Now they recommend, of course, because it's like a product that they always want to sell. They recommend that you do this once a month. I really think you can get away with doing it far less, maybe once a quarter, uh, but it will make a difference. A go-to product I've had at home for probably the last 15 years is OxyClean VSR Versatile Stain Remover. It's a powdered formula. You can use it to pre-soak something by sort of filling up your laundry basin, putting in a scoop and adding stuff to soak overnight, or you can add a scoop to your wash. This is really good if you have, say, a load of really, you know, smelly stuff, stuff that's stained, or if there's just like a situation where your kid comes home from daycare and you're like, wow, I, I don't even know if we're ever gonna be able to revive this item, but we're just gonna pull out a Hail Mary and see what happens, this would be the Hail Mary. So I think having a container of this at home is very useful. It's not something, you know, maybe I replace this once a year. I don't pull it out all the time, but when I do pull it out, OxyClean can be used in so many different ways around the house and it never fails. So hopefully you've discovered a new product today and I'd love to know in the comments down below. What is your favorite store-bought cleaning product? I know everyone loves a good DIY, but come on, there's something you buy at the store that you absolutely swear by. Let me know what it is in the comments down below. And if you wanna geek out on cleaning products some more, you might wanna check out our deep clean video that we did on Barkeeper's Friend. We get into the history of the product and we explore the entire product line, seeing where you can use it and what it is used for. So you can check that video out right there. If you haven't done so already, make sure that you subscribe to the Clean My Space channel. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.